Hello there, my name is Sherwin Urbina, and today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to secure a wireless network. A lot of the times when people use wireless networks, wireless gateways, or routers, and cable modems of the sorts, sadly a lot of the time they're not secure. When I say they're not secure, that means that they don't have a wireless password enabled. This means that anyone that's literally walking by, driving by, is able to access your wireless network gateway for free. And that's not only going to slow you down, but it also use up your data and make you more vulnerable to infiltration. So it's really important to make sure that you secure your wireless network gateway. And to do that, you have to access the router and enable some type of wireless encryption. Uh, luckily, a lot of the new technology and routers and modems actually have built-in passwords and already enabled, but a lot of the old technology, a lot of older routers and modems, they don't. So it's important to make sure that you're always secure. A lot of my neighbors actually don't have secure networks, but I've helped them out secure them. And today, I want to help you out, so just follow along with this tutorial and you'll be good to go. The modem I actually have, it's actually it's a modem router and it has a wireless network with one port to plug in a computer. So it actually serves a pretty good purpose for what I need it for. It's to it's pretty it's pretty good speed, high speed modem through charter. And I'm gonna show you these instructions on how to secure this network. But in general this will pretty much generally apply as well to majority of situations when it comes to securing a network. The model is the the brand is Motorola. The model is SBG900. You can see this picture here. And let's get started in. First thing you want to do is access your router. You ideally want to be plugged into it or you can actually do wired as um, plugged into it or wirelessly as well. And how do you access your router? One typical way you can use you can always use your manual, of course. Read your manual, and it'll show you the usually simple step-by-step -step direction how to access your router, how to enable a password. But um, let's say if you don't have a manual, then the way to access it would be the one way I use is access the command prompt, do CMD, then the Run menu, and from here, easy way would be IP configuration, IPCONFIG, enter, and you see here we have IP address, address your computer, and default gateway. Default gateway is what we're going to use to access the router to enable um, wireless configuration setup for security. So you see here, this is the number we need, 192.168.0.1. So we use that in a browser to access the modem. If you're using a Mac, you may not be able to access this page, of course, but usually it would be, usually um, modems, routers, gateways are this IP. If there isn't a core, you can always consult your manual to know what exactly is your modem address so you can access it and enable your password. So we'll access this right now in a browser. We we'll use Google Chrome for simplicity. So we go ahead and access that number that we saw. Okay, so here is the home page for the modem. And you know, you'd want to enter the typical uh username and password for your particular model. And usually it's admin password. In this case since for simplicity, you know, it's the admin and Motorola. Since it's a Motorola manufacturer, fancy that. Okay, and once we're in, we can see kind of a basic overview of the network here. This shows the network name and the channels and MAC address. And you can see here actually the security mode. There is none enabled. At this point in time, someone is actually able to access my network for free. And Basically, I'm vulnerable to that right now. They'll use up my data, slow me down, and 
yeah, the whole nine yards. Um, sadly, I wouldn't want to fall victim to war driving. And war driving is, of course, a term used to describe people that drive around looking for wireless networks and accessing them. So today we're going to fight that war driving scheme. So you can see since there's no security, the typical way and it's safe using like a link sys or netgear you're going to find a similar page here once you access the router you're going to want to access somewhere in the security tab network something like that in this case what it will be here in this tab if you want to enable security and you can see here we have for this particular modem we have two options security um, and we have the more older version wired cooling protection which is at WP and that one is it's pretty good but it's not as strong as what we could get which is WPA here and we definitely want to utilize WPA because WEP is more easily hackable and more um, vulnerable so we'll go ahead and en enable WPA and hit apply to enable security from here we're going to have to create a, a passphrase this is actually the password we'll be used to access it when somebody has to access it typically I find it easy to use phone numbers because it usually you know, easier to remember and you know enter it easily so I'll just use an old phone number uh, 626 357 so yeah with that entered, all we have to do is hit save changes here. At this point, the it's actually secured now. If we can if we go to status of our network, you can see here security mode WPA is now enabled. So now no one will be able to access my wireless network without a password. So now we have a secure network, and we are successfully good and running. One quick thing, if you wanted to, I'll show you how to, if you want to change the password, you can always come here, back to this box, and re-enter another password. Let's say you decided that that was an easy password to hack or to figure out, you can always change it there. So that's a pretty good thing to, to note under network we can actually there's always uh, the option of changing the network name I'll go ahead and change to demonstrate so if you wanted to kind of ch be under the radar a little bit to be more, more secure you can always change it to something else so people won't suspect that it was your network I'll give it this name just for the fun of it so I'll save the changes there so now we'll change the name we're good to go you can make as long as names you want up to 32 characters I believe so you can have fun with that so I'm going to go back here status you can see the name is officially changed and we have WPA encryption and for some reason if you wanted to remove security I have to go back to security hit none here and there you go we go back to the that is, we find security mode none. We've removed the security. Of course, you're ideally going to want to keep the security on because you don't want people coming by and stealing your Wi Fi. I'll go ahead and enable it once again. Make the phone number 6635736991. And we are good to go. So there you have it. That is how to secure a network. And it's always imp important when you do enter the same log out of your router. So you come back to the home page and you know that you've well and done. And to recap, I'll close this window. And I'll show you a quick little recap of how to secure a wireless network. First thing you want to do is access the gateway. Typically the IP address will be the one that we discussed which is 192.168.0.1 
If it's not, you can always access your manual and it'll tell you which one to use to access the gateway. And once you do access the gateway, you're going to, of course, enter the username and password, which typically username pa admin password is password. For this case, it was admin in Motorola. Of course, you can consult your manual for that. And once you do enter the modem, you're going to find the tab that's going to talk about wireless security, something along those lines. Once you click on that, you'll notice it gives you options of wireless encryption. You're definitely going to want to choose something more than WEP, as WEP is a little more vulnerable. And WPA and above, WPA2, those are the ones that are going to be a little more secure in the long run and prevent people from entering your network unwantingly. So then once you do set your type of security, you will set a password. You know, I recommend phone numbers. You can always do words as well. Sometimes it has restrictions of what type of words you can use or phrases. So definitely consult the manual or the, the router settings for that. Once you do set that password, you are good to go to save the settings. And once you save the settings, the password will be in effect and you will have successfully secured your wireless network. So I hope that this video was informative and that it helped you out to secure your network. Definitely spread the word on securing wireless networks because you know many people you know may have unsecured wireless networks and which is ca causing them to be victims of war driving. And we want to eliminate war driving because it's not a good thing. So good luck. And thank you for watching this video. Signing off.